There's nothing that gets you in the FIFA World Cup spirit like the official songs of the FIFA World Cups. So in this episode of FTD Facts, I'm taking a look at the 10 best FIFA World Cup songs of all times. How's it going everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton, if you don't already know, so this episode is going to be an exciting one, a lot of music and dancing going on. So let me know down in the comment section, what's your favorite FIFA World Cup song of all time? Counting down, starting at number 10, we have Gianna Nani and Edoardo Benato, UN Estate Italiana. Now, this was a World Cup anthem that had two versions released. They had the Italian version as well as the English version. And this song was composed by Giorgio Moroder and Tom Whitlock. <laughs> All right, now, so coming in at number nine, we have We Are One, Ole Ola. Now, this song was recorded by Pitbull and it was one of the official songs of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Now, it features guest vocals from Jennifer Lopez as well as Claudia Liette, and also artists that co-wrote the song were Sia, Red One, Danny Mercer, Dr. Luke, Circuit, and Thomas Trollson. Now, initially when the song was released, it had some negative backlash from Brazilians because they're like, this song didn't show as much Brazilian flavor as fans would have liked. So they also released a music video and changed it slightly to feature a more Afro-Brazilian kind of vibe to it. And that was a version being used for the official music video for the song. Alright, so number 8 is Yusu Nador Le Cour de Grand in 1998. And of course, that was the year where they also won the World Cup. But before the tournament, the feeling within the nation was very low because supporters lack a lot of confidence in the team's chances to actually win at the event. So this song had a little bit of French flavor, it lit up the spirits of France a little bit more, and yeah, it's coming in at number 8 in this episode. <laughs> At number 7, we have Shakira, La La La, featuring Kalinhos Brown. The song Dear La 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 was recorded by Shakira from her self-titled album, Shakira, back in the year 2014. Now, she reworked the song and titled it La La La, Brazil 2014. And this was released on May 27th of 2014, and it was the second official theme song of the 2014 World Cup. And this was also Shakira's second time singing a theme song for the FIFA World Cup. And I mean, I ain't complaining because I never get tired of seeing Shakira. <laughs> I'm just saying. Then act like you mean it. In at number six, we have the 1994 track by Daryl Hall, Gloryland. Now, of course, when the U.S. is involved with something, expect it to be like epic. And the song Glory Land by Daryl Hall, who was accompanied by Sounds of Blackness, composed and sang the song as a non-official anthem of the 1994 FIFA World Cup. Now, the song was a big hit, not just in the U.S., but also in the U.K. Now, at the halfway spot in this episode, we saw some amazing songs before, but you guys haven't heard nothing yet. At number five, we have Anthem by Vangelis. Now, for any World Cup fans, this song should still be fresh in your ears. Now, this song really came on the scene and glorified the success of Brazil. And the song is just amazing, so yeah, take a listen. Now moving on to number four, we have Il Devo and Tony Braxton, The Time of Our Lives. This was released in 2006. Now this is probably one of the most emotional as well as soulful songs that were dedicated as theme songs to the FIFA World Cup. Now this song was an epic masterpiece for the 2006 World Cup, which was held in Germany. Now let's take it back again to 1998 with Ricky Martin's hit song Copa de la Vida. Copa de la Vida, standing for the Cup of Life, was a song that revolutionized the concept of World Cup anthems. Now this song was actually responsible for the crossover to the mainstream world and actually laying the foundation for the next World Cup songs to follow. After Ricky Martin was given the honors to perform this song, he became a worldwide sensation after that song came out. Now, number two, this song was like really, really, really close to me because it was done by another fellow Canadian, Kanon. And that, of course, is Waving Flag. Waving Flag was made for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, and everybody was talking about Kanon during the 2010 World Cup. This guy had a lot of fans before, but when the tournament began, holy crap, he skyrocketed to fame. Kanon originally wrote the song 
to epitomize the freedom aspirations of the people of Somalia. But it fits so well with the World Cup theme that they included it as the official anthem. Now, number one, this spot had to go to one of the queens of pop and dance, Shakira. She released a song, Waka Waka, also for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. The Colombian pop sensation and singer and songwriter Shakira, who is also my future wife, but I think she's married, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyways, she actually joined together with the South African band Freshly Ground to create the 2010 official anthem Waka Waka, this time for Africa. And this song was featured as the leading track in the compilation 2010 FIFA World Cup album. Alright guys, so those were your 10 best FIFA World Cup songs. Let me know what song do you think should have been on this list? Or if it was on this list, do you agree with the number one? Or which song on this list do you think should have been number one? I know I didn't include the 2018 song, but it's pretty awesome nonetheless. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out our other videos all dedicated to the 2018 FIFA World Cup. We go in depth in the history, you learn about the different players and just general information about FIFA and the World Cup on a whole. So until next time, you guys have been awesome and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so here's a playlist of FIFA videos that I was talking about. You definitely want to check it out if you're just a fan of the FIFA World Cup. We also have videos where we talk about different countries and cultures all around the world. So be sure to come back here to FTD Facts every single day and I'll see you back here tomorrow or whenever on FTD Facts for more videos.